Hi everyone, this is Firan and welcome to Study Windows. And today we are going to learn a very interesting chapter, Electricity and Circuits. And we will learn what is electricity, its types, basic understanding with so many practical examples. And before going to the session, we will see some examples. We use so many electrical items in our day-to-day -day life. We use switch, we use bulb, we use fans, we use air conditioners, we use irons, we use fridge, we use to see so many places, wires and many more. How lights of fans or air conditioners or irons or fridge are working? Let's see a very simple video. Look at this video. These all are switches. And this is fan. And this is air conditioner. This is light if we switched on then this light is on if we switched on for fan then a fan is working if we switched on for air conditioners then this AC will start and we will get very cold air Look at this wall clock. It's working. Now if you see the back side, you will see there is a battery. If we remove the battery, then this watch, look at this, it's not working. And same way, if we switched on for the iron, the iron is on. If load setting, are you able to see anything? No, we cannot see. So what do we do? We take torch light and we switch on, then we can see everything around us. Let's see how it happens. This is the bulb and this is the switch. Initially, bulb is not giving light. We all know that if you see the side of the switch, you will see there are holes and this wire is fitted into the hole and this wire will be connected between the switch and the bulb switched on then light is on but why light is on when we switched on see it is very much clear if we switch on then light is on if it is switched off we will not get the light so from this example we can say there is something is going from the switch to the light and it is helping the filament which is the inside the bulb to glow and this may be a very tiny particle we are not able to see by our naked eye and this particle is called electric charge so we can say this flow of electric charge creates electricity from the switch to the bulb and it helps bulb to glow and we get the electricity we can see. If we cut the wire within this coating of the wire there is some metal part and this is the metal it may be made of copper or aluminium or gold or graphite but be careful never ever touch any bear wear in your life there are so many people died because if there is electricity within this wear you will get shock and it will be life threatening there are so many people died every day because of electric shock the electric charge is flowing like this 
so this flow of electric charge makes electric current so type of electric charge there are two types of electric charge this is the positive electric charge and this is the negative electric charge and this positive and negative electric charge has the same nature as magnet if we take one positive and one negative charge this will attract and if we take same two positive charge and this will repel each other if we take same negative charge this will also repel this all positive charge carries by a very minute particle it is called proton and this all negative charge it is also carries by a very minute particle and it is called electron if we take a very small piece of pair wire and this flow will be like this so this is flow of electric charge it means it's a simply flow of electrons we have seen that electric charge always flow in one direction why because electricity is produced in power house and this power house this electricity is supplied to transformers and it is stored in transformers and from transformer this electricity is supplied to our home appliances so always electricity is from powerhouse to transformer to our appliances so it will be one direction we'll try to understand it better so this is a switch and this is the bulb and this switch and bulb is connected by copper wire or maybe aluminium wire this is the filament now when we switch on what is happening this electron is going from the switch to the bulb and reaches to the filament and filament will glow and we'll get the light so flow of electrons and it causes electricity so electricity is produced and this is known as dynamic electricity or normal electricity but if you comb your hair few times and if you take some small tiny piece of paper if you move your comb toward the paper you will see all the paper is attracted so this is also one kind of electricity and it is known as static electricity so type of electricity based on the discussion there are two types of electricity one is dynamic electricity or electricity and another one is static electricity now do you know electricity to the bulb in a torch is provided by which device check out our next video and if you like study windows please like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much and stay tuned